Hello beautiful people of the internet. Today is the annual summer day in my life vlog, but this isn't any ordinary summer day in my life vlog. This is a summer day in my life vlog island edition. Thankfully I am no longer stuck in southern Ontario, so this video should be a lot more interesting than my other day in my life videos. If I'm being real with you guys, I'm trying so hard to stay calm and collected right now because I am literally starving. I need to get food in my system ASAP. And I'm in the car with my breakfast. I've never had this place. It's called Bravocados. Apparently it's really good vegan food. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that actually looks pretty delish. It's only been a couple seconds for you guys, but I just completely annihilated that burrito bowl. Now that I have some breakfast inside of me, I'm ready to go about my day. We're gonna start off the day going to the post office because my package finally arrived. Living on an island, your packages from Amazon either take three days or two months. And this one has taken a long time, so I've honestly like forgotten what I ordered, but I just know it's there. So this is gonna be a fun little surprise for all of us. What did Kylie order while she was stoned in her room? Let's find out. Also, a little side note. It is the weekend here, and it's like insane how many people are here. Like, it's crazy how during the week it's so empty and like all these beautiful places are just like so empty but now that there's like tourists here on the weekends like it's packed i can't park anywhere to get my breakfast i had to walk 10 minutes oh no kylie doing a little bit of dpa but like still you get what i'm saying there's no parking anywhere every single place that i can usually just walk in and grab food has a line up like I'm sorry is this Six Flags are we at Disneyland why are we all lining up for takeout I think I just sound pretty grumpy and miserable right now and honestly I, the past week I've been feeling that so today's vlog is gonna be a fun little reset we're gonna have so much freaking fun today oh okay bitch you just about hit me this is why I don't like tourists oh surprise surprise there's no parking for the post office yes sir I am talking to myself in my car don't judge me i've been judged my whole life that's why i left my hometown okay i think i'm going through something guys let's open this package oh it's a cute little throwover blanket this throwover blanket is for something very very special something so special that i can't tell you because it's the beginning of the video and you're gonna have to stick around and wait to see what this is for okay do up the windows do up the windows do up the windows there's a group of frat boys walking by i'm leaving i don't want to be judged anymore my car is not turning on <laughs> mom pick me up i'm scared don't look at me don't look at me don't walk towards me i see One of the worst thing is when you go into a store already hot and sweaty and then you gotta shove one of these on your face. It rubs all the makeup off, you get a sweat stash. I cannot wait until I burn this and never have to wear these fucking things ever again. <coughs> Anyways, let's move on with her day. I think we've had enough negativity of Kylie ranting about stupid shit. Now it's time for the fun part of the vlog. Kylie, stop being such a negative Nancy, okay? Your week's about to turn around! This is also my first time filming a YouTube video in like weeks. So I'm like out of it. It's weird talking to the camera again, but like at the same, my check engine light just fucking turned on. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go into some pretty nature spot and do a nice little meditation session. While I go and do that, I'm gonna roll a quick little montage of this beautiful place that I now call home. Answer the question. 
I just took a trip to my favorite thinking spot in the rainforest and look how big this freaking tree is. Let me just stand beside it for reference. That's a big ass tree. These old growth trees are thousands of years old and they're just living in this beautiful rainforest, which is also one of the only rainforests in Canada, which happens to be where I live on this island. I don't know about you guys, but I'd say this place is pretty freaking magical. Take a look at this big boy. Wow, that's insane. I'm probably gonna spend the next 20 minutes just laying here and listening to the beautiful sounds of nature. I'm gonna give you guys a fun little sneak peek. Guess what I was doing for the past hour? For the past hour, I've been redoing the floors of Brayden and I's new van. I wasn't planning on talking about this in this video. There's gonna be so many separate videos all about this van. I remember in high school, I would fall asleep at night watching van life videos. It's been a big bucket list dream of mine to try van life out. So a few weeks ago, Brayden and I went to Vancouver, went to the mainland, and we got ourselves a 1977 Dodge something. This is probably one of the funnest projects I've ever done in my life. We're completely demolishing the inside and building it up to be our tiny little home. And I am so beyond excited. I'm like acting pretty calm right now because there's like a ton of people around me. But guys, this is like one of the most exciting things I've done in my life. And I feel like every single month I say that, but man, this is literally a dream come true. And I'm so excited to take you guys along this journey of transforming the van. But right now I'm gonna enjoy the sun while it's out. It's usually pretty chilly here. It's like a moderate 15 degrees almost year round in Tofino, but there's like a huge heat wave in BC. So the next like few days are like 30 degrees Celsius, which is pretty crazy and unheard of on this island. So I'm gonna enjoy the sun. Hey guys, it's a few hours later and now I am with Brayden. Brayden just went to go and check to see how the waves are to surf. His surfboard is in the back, but unfortunately mine is not. Yesterday I was surfing for a few hours and got absolutely destroyed. I have two gigantic bruises on my leg and I actually got a busted lip the other day. So I'm still in the recovery process before I go back out. The waves the other day were just a little bit too big for my uh, level of experience. And yeah, I died a little bit, but it's all good. We're here now, right? It's actually funny because the day before yesterday, I had like the best surf of my life. It was actually a full moon. Me and a group of my friends, we all went surfing at like 2 a.m. on like a full moon, which is so crazy because like going in the ocean when it's pitch black, you think that'd be super scary and stuff. And like, I was just surprisingly not scared. I think it's because I went with such a big group of people that like I didn't get scared. But let me tell you guys, I felt like I was in a movie or something. It was so beautiful. I honestly don't know how I didn't turn into a mermaid. Being in the ocean on a full moon, I was waiting for Cleo to just jump up and take me to Micro Island, but that didn't happen. Honestly, cried a little bit from that. If you guys don't get that reference, like, I'm, I'm so sorry. You're probably so confused. Brayden should be back any second with the wave forecast for this beach. How are the waves? <laughs> Small. Oh no. But we're gonna go here anyway. And there was one good set that came in, so we're gonna hope that set's consistent. So if guys. If not, we'll go to Cox. Cox is a beach, guys, okay? It's keeping it PG on Kylie Harris' channel. Bye. Check this out. It is so, honestly, the camera does a really bad job at capturing this. Let me take a video on my phone. I think that's a pretty good end to Summer Day My Life Island Edition, don't you think? Yeah. How often do we come and see these beautiful sunsets? Um, about once a day. Every day? <laughs> we literally watch sunsets together 
every single day. This beach and view is like five minutes away from where we live. We literally live in Canada to Hawaii. Like, it's kind of crazy. See you later, skaters. Cowabunga, brothers.